Hello everybody. I uh, wanted to do another update on uh, my uh, home automation build here. Obviously this is the same old uh, thermostat that I've been working on. Um, I do have a bit more done on the interface. Uh, let's see here, under the thermostat. Gives me the current temperature outside, weather conditions, and uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, it says what the current status of the thermo or the uh, furnace is at, and then what the current uh, house temperature is, or at least here in the basement. And then you can set the temperature here to whatever you're looking for. So high, low, all that good stuff. And it says what the what it's currently set to. So I can go in and set it to 10 degrees. And yeah. So that's still working. Um, that's still kind of on the go right now. I did want to show you something else here that was kind of cool. I found a website called tropo.com. I think I've got it here. I'll just bring it up very quickly. And I'm sure some of you have, have already dealt with uh, Tropo. But basically what they do is they allow you to interface your systems uh, using various uh, programming languages. Um, to make inbound and outbound phone calls, SMS, text messaging, the whole bit um, available for your projects, whether it's uh, websites or, or projects like uh, this using um, the Raspberry Pi or an Arduino. You know, it's uh, just a really cool product, and the prices are really actually reasonable. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And uh, give me one second here. Just. Okay, oh, it didn't work. Okay, sorry about that. So basically what I wanted to show you here was I actually started on a sump pump. We have a sump pump here in the basement um, that uh, keeps the water levels down um, and it's pretty common for a lot of homes within the town I live in. This is a little rig I set up and this is a proximity sensor switch. It's a float switch. So as it lifts up here, it'll lift up and then activate the uh, little magnetic switch inside. There's a magnet in this uh, float ring and then as it gets closer it just turns it on. So I've got that plugged into the Pi right now and what I wanted to show you is what happens on my phone here um, when the float actually gets too high. So Let's uh, start the uh, program here. Okay, there is the Python script. Off it goes. It just uh, every ten seconds it'll go and say, "Okay, it's reading normal. It's reading normal. Everything's fine." And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this here. So we'll say, "Okay, water level has risen." Risen. We'll keep it out here and it should in a second say yep pump failure call in progress so I'm going to drop this back down and what I should expect here very shortly is a message from tropo sure enough so it says uh, come I've uh, got a contact set up in here so it's actually hot pie home monitoring is what I've labeled it for the caller ID. Um, and then it says this message is from your own monitoring system. We have been given an indication that your pump may not be active. Please check immediately. And that is about it. So I'll keep you updated on my uh, projects. Okay, see ya.